Hey friends, Victor Pisano with Charge Up. Wanted to talk about something today that's been on my heart for the past couple of weeks and I felt now was the right time to talk about it, throw it out there and get your thoughts. But to preface my conversation, when I talk to student athletes and coaches in athletic departments about leadership, I define it in the most simplistic way possible and that is leadership is simply influence. It's having a positive influence on somebody else to elicit the greatness out of them. And you see, we all have a leader within us in some form or fashion. Leadership isn't based on title, rank, or authority. So think about that as I explain what's been on my heart. I have been thinking about two terms, essential and non-essential. The workforce right now is not being defined by anything other than essential and non-essential. And I think it's fascinating. First and foremost, if you are an essential worker, I want to sincerely thank you for your perseverance, for your courage, for your loyalty and commitment. You see, you're a leader because you've provided an influence. You're here for other people. You're putting others before yourself. And there is no greater pride to walk away with than feeling that. When we get on the other side of this, which I'm confident is coming, we need to celebrate those who put themselves at risk and were willing to be on the front line day in, day out. Essential workers, thank you. Now let me ask you this question. Are you essential or are you non-essential? And I'm not talking about the workplace. I'm talking about in life, your purpose. See, that's just what's been on my mind is I keep thinking to myself, have I been essential? Or have I been non-essential? And when I think about being essential in my community as a friend, as a parent, as a son, as a brother, in every facet, every role, how can I be essential? And it comes through the pride I have in myself, my core values I live by, those non-negotiables that I would never jeopardize because I think of my legacy. So essential to me are those key characteristics that can contribute something to somebody else. So it goes back to having a certain amount of grit, loyalty, responsibility, kindness, truthful, understanding, empathetic, vulnerable. See, if I have those characteristics and that's what defines me, I'm essential. Being non-essential is somebody who carries negativity with them. Being non-essential is somebody who doesn't show gratitude. Being non-essential is somebody who, who doesn't like to communicate with others. You see, there are too many non-essentials in our society. And through this trial, my hope is that people realize we need to become essential as humans, as people within our own communities, in society. We don't just define it by the workplace. Let's define it by how we live our lives. Start thinking about it now. How can I become more essential in life? How can I contribute more? How can I give more? If you wanna talk about the pandemic and you wanna talk about the crisis we're in right now, if you wanna be essential, I have one way that you can do nothing absolutely nothing, put no effort into it, and you will become uh, essential. That's stay home. You wanna further that? Call your local blood bank. They are in desperate need of blood. And trust me, they understand social distancing and they're gonna do everything by the CDC and, in, and ensure your safety. The other, call your local food bank. If you can contribute, that would be wonderful. If you can't, volunteer. They have special shifts people are distance, you'll be safe. Masks, gloves, everything. Be essential. Find where you can contribute to the society. Be a part of the solution, not a part of the problem. Do you have somebody elderly who lives near you? Check on them. Check on your own family. Do kind things for others right now. If you're at the grocery store, pick up a couple things for you know, a relative that you have that may not be mobile enough or still has fear. Be essential. 
And that's really all I wanted to talk about today is becoming essential during a crisis. Let this time that you have serve as a motivator to become an essential person. Uh, there was no better way to describe society right now as essential and non-essential because now we're all just people. It's kind of funny how life works. Those people who are essential, would you have considered them essential 60 days ago? Or would they have just been the repairman? Would they have just been the person who checks you out at the grocery store? Would they have been the person who checks you into the emergency room? Now we would think doctors, nurses, any medical personnel, absolutely. But go beyond that. Would you have considered them essential? Life's changed. It's time to wake up and realize they were asked to be essential. They, they, they had a calling to serve. I haven't heard many stories of people who said no to the calling to serve. So when you see somebody who's an essential worker, thank them. When this is over, celebrate them. But during this time, find a way to become essential. I hope you have a blessed weekend. I wish you and your family good health, safety, and fellowship and love. I hope you have a good weekend. As always, don't forget my friends, charge up.